Good morning, everyone, uh, to the third day of the sixth annual research symposium. Um, it's our uh, second uh, virtual event um, in the series of uh, annual research symposiums. Um, um, and I'm really glad that you could make it. Um, we try to make it as accessible to you as possible um, in these times. Uh, we again have a fantastic program um, and we would like to, um, but first um, have our uh, chair of the Computer Science and Engineering Department, uh, JJ Garcia Luna Aceves, um, uh, say a few words. Um, he's the Distinguished Professor of Computer Science and Engineering um, the chair of the computer science engineering department, as I said, and also the Citrus uh, campus director. Um, JJ. Yeah, thank you, Carlos, and thank you, Stephanie, and uh, welcome uh, to the virtual event. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for uh, all the advice you provide. And uh, um, as we know, uh, the, uh, an essential component of education in the UC system is research and CROSS is a wonderful venue and platform for to promote uh, very meaningful research. So we are really grateful that CROSS is in Santa Cruz and uh, we are grateful to all the advisors that make this happen and, um, and the faculty who participate and the students who participate. So um, just uh, uh, want to wish you well from the computer science department and hopefully next year we'll, uh, we'll see each other in 3D. <laughs> so uh, with that, uh, I, uh, I wish you a, a, a wonderful rest of the program. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. All right, let me go ahead and do a quick um, overview of the day. Let me get my screen back up. And looking good. Okay. Um, first off, welcome again, everyone. I uh, appreciate everyone showing up so early on the first day. Uh, we've had a great couple of days, and um, I hope, I'm sure today will be good too. First off, um, we do want to make our land acknowledgement um, that it, here at UCSB, we are on unceded territory of the Awasa's uh, speaking Wuhi tribe. And um, I think that's an important one, especially with it having been Indigenous Persons Day this, uh, this week. And that's, that's actually starting our event on that day. So I want to like acknowledge um, the, the native peoples that have were uh, indigenous in this land. And um, this is our UCSC's uh, official land acknowledgement. Now, uh, event logistics will be similar to the next few days, uh, the last few days, sorry, and, and for tomorrow. Um, and they, you will find all of the links as previously in um, the in the agenda. Uh, uh, they are, and th th today we have, we start out with, um, very excited to have Deb Nicholson here, um, uh, who is a, you know, formerly of, uh, most recently with OSI, but now is uh, generally just a very well-known um, open source community management expert, among other great things. And I'll introduce her a little bit better later, um, in, right before she speaks. Um, but any of the Zoom links, you'll see the Zoom links here, and as I mentioned in the email that I sent out this morning, we did redo the Zoom links to get rid of some of the peculiarities we had last yesterday um, with regards to dealing with the recurring meetings. So now all of the, you'll notice that all of the Zoom links are actually completely unique. So they all have their own different rooms. So do not, you know, do not use any of the old Zoom links from the last two days. They'll just go to the, the, the ones that are on, they're either in the email that I sent out this morning or the, um, the uh, the agenda the main agenda which everyone should have uh, access to. Note again, all sessions are recorded, um, are being recorded. Uh, we do plan to post them uh, first for just those who registered, and then likely in the long term um, in our uh, on our YouTube uh, channel. And if people have questions with regards to the schedule, oh sorry, I should also highlight what the uh, the workshops we're doing. Um, I'll mention the OS. Uh, the open source hardware one, and I'll let maybe let Carlos talk a little bit about um, 
kids workshop, which is um, also after uh, Deb's talk. Uh, we it actually the OS hardware one, the open source hardware uh, session will be both a session with speakers. Um, there are actually three presentations, and then and in the middle there there will be a um, a roundtable discussion uh, between a, a number of um, industry folks plus a, some academics. I think uh, it's a lot of information actually on the in the link. If you go to the link that's listed right there, it gets more information on the abstracts of the talks plus a little bit of background on all of the speakers. Carlos, did you want to add anything with regards to your um, session? Carlos? Oh, Carlos, I think you're muted or am I muted? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm muted. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know I just wanted to... <laughs> my, my speaker off again and everybody's yelling at me this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's all this AV stuff. Um, so uh, this was, as I said, um, uh, just want to emphasize, as, as Stephanie already did, there is a new Zoom link. You know, if you want to go to the programmable storage two session, um, that's a new Zoom link. Make sure you refresh your um, agenda page um, so you get that. Um, uh, if you if you have any for any reason uh, a problem, just send an email or or um, contact Stephanie. Um, and uh, we will get you the right Zoom link. Um, that's it. I'm really excited. And um, did you want to mention anything about your um, workshop? Not really. There's uh, we have really good speakers coming up. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, if you're interested in programmable storage or storage, you know, new kinds of data management uh, and storage, um, you should check it out. I want to, and again, but I do want to highlight, and I don't think I've said this, uh, really highlighted this earlier, but when you do click on the links that are on the, um, the, the title links there, um, those actually go, do go to the web pages of the workshops that, um, that have been created by the chairs, which again, give more information on the individual speakers. Mm -hmm. So it's also to check those out. Um, so again, we're going to use, uh, just like the last two days, um, we're going to use the Q and A documents. I noticed it was some some it, you know we're not requiring everyone to use them in the sense of uh, if people put things in the chat, we are also answering those. Um, uh, but um, the uh, these have been really helpful. I noticed in the panel yet we had yesterday, it was particularly useful to have all that information there, and then the speakers were actually then looking. And uh, it was a nice, it was a nice way of organizing people and have, giving them an opportunity to answer questions. Um, in, in I think in a way that um, you, may, you didn't kind of lose the stream by like things being added like it does in the Zoom chat. But again, the Zoom chat is still open for uh, issue, you know, logistical issues or saying hi to people or any of the other aspects. But for content questions, we're still asking people to use the Q and A as much as they can. Uh, Oh, yeah. so again, any event, event logistic issues, um, again, we have, uh, you know, you can get, get a hold of us in any, any type, any way you want, um, but Carlos is typically going to be in track one, and I will be in track two, um, and you can send us a direct, uh, direct message through, uh, through the Zoom there, or send it, or just ask us a question on the chat there, or send us an email, either directly to us if you have our email addresses, or the cross info one goes to both of us. Um, I'm going to highlight this today as well as tomorrow, since um, it's a, we, we really, really appreciate people's feedback. Last year, we got a lot of good feedback, probably more than we typically have. I think that's the beauty of having things online is that people have quicker access uh, to to um, to the links and everything. Um, so. Uh, we have another survey that uh, we really hope that um, our participants will um, uh, fill out, basically saying, um, uh, basically saying, uh, you know, asking us what you thought about the format, the registration, all of that. And we really uh, definitely use last year's feedback to um, to help uh, form what we're doing this year. Hopefully next year, and we haven't really talked too much about this, except uh, JJ brought it up. 
hopefully next year we'll be doing this at least partially in person. I'd actually, that's the assumption. <laughs> that we'll be doing it partially in person, but we do like the idea of um, some sort of hybrid. Um, and that we did get that from, from last year's uh, um, input. And we'll probably keep that in mind. Um, I think I think I just saw a chat uh, on the chat message that in the Smithy, I think we, will, we can put the link into the um, for the Q and A into the chat. I think I don't think I have any more. 